Hi, my name is Ian Dybel. I'm a professional guitar teacher and this is the first in a series of mini exercises um, that while being compact and easy to practice are all designed to help you with certain aspects of guitar playing. So why is this exercise good for you? Because it's based on a minor seven arpeggio. And a minor seven arpeggio is practically a pentatonic minor scale. You just have to add one note to the arpeggio to get the pentatonic minor scale. Take a look at these diagrams. The note that you add is actually called a fourth or an 11. So if you want to confuse people, you can call a pentatonic minor scale a minor seven add 11 arpeggio, if you really want to confuse them. But essentially, during this exercise, you are following pathways that are essential for soloing. You want to be able to flow through those pathways. So a repetitive exercise like this is very good for you. As an example, take a look at just how similar that opening arpeggio path is to a typical pentatonic minor run when used for soloing. So that's it, just a short video with a mini exercise that is very easy to incorporate into any kind of practice plan and is very good for you because it will help you to flow through solos. I've got lots of these mini exercises planned. Number two sounds something like this. happens to be based on minor seven arpeggios as well but for a completely different reason it'll get explained in the video and today's mini exercise actually comes from a longer video that I posted a few weeks ago and it got buried very quickly by the YouTube algorithm that happens when you haven't got many subscribers there'll be links to the next mini exercise and the advanced arpeggio exercise somewhere so click on them if you're interested but if you can subscribe that would really help me or even just liking the video, that helps me. Hopefully you did like the video. If not, like it because you're nice. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon.